Well, welcome everyone. Hope that you're doing well today and praise the Lord. It is going to be Mother's Day this weekend. Hope all our moms have a blessed day praying for each one um, that God would just pour out a blessing upon all moms. And uh, we would not be here without our moms. So God bless all of you and treat her well and kind this weekend. Praise the Lord. We are going to be in Romans chapter um, seven, and I'm, I'm going to share some things with you. Um, and it's funny, you know, when I think about the the war that is being ra- waged in our own bodies and our own members is the same thing that we see happening in our world today. And uh, and it's all about, and, and think about this, I want you to think about the bigger picture here. There is a sanctification or a separating happening in our world, just like it's happening in our own life. And I don't think there's a lot of people that see that. That the, that the wars, the rumors of wars, the famines, the, the, the pestilence, the disease, all the things that are going on are the very same things that are happening in our lives personally. And uh, it's all happening because it's the work of the Holy Spirit. And we're living in the age of grace, in the age when the Holy Spirit's been poured out upon all flesh. And the Holy Spirit is doing a work now that it is unlike any work that he's ever done before in our world. And so I want to talk to you about this personally in our lives, and maybe it'll help you influence you on what's going on in the big picture in our world. And I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to put our our, um, scripture on on the screen here. But stay with me. We're going to go through this, run through these scriptures here. But I see in my members, this is verse 23, I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind. Now, what is that law of my mind? If you go back to 1 Corinthians, what you find is that God wrote out the commandments in our mind, on our foreheads. In other words, when you come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you know what the will of God is. You know what the will of God is. And so this is what he's talking about, the law of my mind, knowing what the will of God is. But there's a war, a law, waging war against the law or the knowledge of what the will of God is and making me captive to the law of sin. So I don't have the freedom to do the will of God. You see, this is the problem that you and I have. When we come to faith, we, we come to faith, but we have all these, these laws that, that demand our attention, that distract us. And um, so what is, that, what is that law that I'm talking about? Well, if you go over to Romans chapter 6, and we find this thing he calls, he talks about this passion. Um, that's that's within us and that dominates us and uh you know i'm just looking through here in verse 12 uh, verse 6 or chapter 6 verse 12 let not sin therefore reign or become king in your mortal bodies to make you obey its passions and so this is romans 6 12 so here you are you're, you're living in this in this life and you have the will of God, you know what the will of God is, God has now saved you, you have the Holy Spirit living inside you, but you have these passions in your life, and the fight is, who's going to reign supreme? And that's the work of the Holy Spirit, to get you to the place where you finally decide, God is supreme, I'm no longer going to allow these passions, these lusts, these things that have held me for so long in my life, to hold me captive anymore. I now have the power to separate that, to put it to on the cross and to crucify it. But if you don't, if you don't do that, then these passions will begin to do what? Make you feel like wretched man that I am. You begin to do what you don't want to do and you do what you, and you, you don't do what you want. That's what's happening in our world. And if we go over to Matthew chapter um, 24, for instance, you know, he, he goes on to say uh, in Matthew chapter 24, the same thing when he, and that's in verse 12 as well. It's funny, all these verses are in, in you know, in verse 12, right? <laughs> he says that because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will wax cold. And so when we allow lawlessness in our lives and in this world to become king, to reign, you be, have to, you begin to obey its passions. And it makes it even harder to come to faith. So what is the answer in all this? Or come to peace with God or allow God to reign supreme in our lives? 
So let's let's look over it in uh, Romans chapter uh, 8, verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life, there is a law of the spirit of life, has set you free in Christ from the law of sin and death. And so when we think about going back to Romans uh, 6, for the wages of, of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So we know that once you ask Jesus Christ into your heart, you now have power. You now have power to allow the law of the spirit of life to set you free, but you have to be in Christ. You have to be living forward in faith. And so we're, let me just conclude my message by saying this to you. God spoke to me a while back and I, you know, how do we deal with this problem today? And God simply said to me, keep building the ark. And, and it kind of rhymes, build the, build the ark, Mark. And I uh, kind of got tickled at that. But um, Noah, in the time of all that he was going through, continued to build an ark. What are we doing? Keep building the kingdom of God. Keep bringing people in. Keep witnessing. Keep sharing Christ. Keep doing the work God's called you to do. Get your eyes off of the world. Lawlessness is here. The world is waging a war against um, the, the things of God. I understand that. But the fact of the matter is, just as God is sanctifying you through the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe he's sanctifying the world too. There's a separation going on. And those that want to build the ark, that want to be part of the kingdom of God, are going to get their minds set on the things of God. And those that are going to want to live by their passions are going to allow the things of this world to reign supreme in their life. Romans 6, 12. Question is, what are you going to do? I know this has been a little bit long today, seven minute video, but guess what? We need to hear this today because this is the issue that's happening. And um, you need to come to faith. You need to come to peace and you need to separate. And how do you do that? Put these passions to the cross, give them to Christ and walk in the freedom in the newness of life by faith get to building the kingdom of God like Noah built the ark. And let's rescue some of the perishing. May God bless you. See you next time.